my release marker for a behavior that I find appropriate and I want to mark it is going to be either ha or good. Now what I do is when Tango gets to the place board, I say ha. She knows to look for food or a toy when she hears ha. So as soon as she touches the place board, ha, and she comes back. By doing so, she's excited to get to the place board she come back. Now what I'm doing is I'm implementing, of course, a come to heel as part of the exercise. So I'm bridging the two. I first do the place, send a place, come back for the reward. Then it's come back to a heel for the reward. Yeah, she saw her frisbee there. Nice job, Tango. Yeah, so here he sends Cowboy back to the place. He brings me the first thing he does, just get a little bit of food. Then he puts him to a heel, sends him back. Ha! Same marker. Now it's between the legs. Mixing it up just keeps it exciting for the dog. Back to the place. And this time I believe he brings him back into a heel position. Nope, back to the front again. Mix a sit. Throw it back. Cowboy gets too excited about food. If he doesn't mix a little bit extra of this, a little extra of that, Cowboy gets distracted. So same thing, you see him put him into a spin, back into a heel from the spin, back to the place, ha! And now it's coming into a heel position and back to the place. Cowboy's less energetic going to the place. Now he's gonna have him beg. Nice job. And a spin, of course. So here, I'm just gonna demonstrate again. I want Anthony to call Cowboy into a heel, but bring him up, head up. See, as the hand comes up, you're grooming a behavior. You're trying to get him to come into a heel from a recall, back into a head up. Once you have that, you can bridge it into your actual watch, your walk, which we'll show you here in a second. But always keep the dog looking at you, see? Now it's just a matter of even teasing him with your hand. Think she might have food. Nice job. 